I'm currently disconnected. This is Let's Make Stuff. Let's make a Game of Thrones Stark Shield. Come on! For this build, you will need cardboard, glue gun, lots of glue, cutting tools, pencil and black marker, elastic waistband, a cord and some paints. Begin the build by drawing a circle 51 centimeters in diameter, and then draw a smaller circle in the center of that at 36 centimeters in diameter. Once you've done that, measure out eight lines evenly around the outside, mark them with a four centimeter line facing inwards. Of course, if you can't be bothered doing that, then you can just download the template in the link below, where all the measurements have been done for you. Now it's time to liberate the shield from the cardboard, and then cut out those little wedges where you've just drawn those four centimeter lines. After that, it's time to measure out the cord. Center circle, make sure it fits nice and neat. Once you're happy with how that looks, it's time to bend the cardboard to make it look more like a shield and tape those little wedge gaps in place with some duct tape, some gaffer tape, and then add some glue. Once you've added the glue, you can cut off any excess once it's dry. Now it's on to putting on the cord in the center circle. Add a liberal amount of glue, make sure that the circle stays on the line, keep it there. Once the glue's dry, you can cut away any excess. Now it's time to cut out your direwolf image. Link in the description box below. Cut that out and trace out your direwolf silhouette onto a piece of cardboard and cut it out with a box cutter. If you're happy with how that looks. Mark where you want to glue it down. Put an amazing amount of glue on it. Press it into place on top of the shield. Make sure all the sides are making contact. Okay, so now you're going to measure and cut out 48 three by one centimeter rectangles, like I am right here. And you're gonna glue those to the outside of the shield, leaving a little gap in between each one. Now the next part of the build I rushed, I should have taken my time, I advise you to do the same. Grab your glue gun or your glue, and you're just gonna make a little squiggly pattern in that little space between the ring and the outside of the shield. Now it's time to paint the shield as white as winter fell snow. Well, you can kind of paint it any colour you want, actually. Just, uh, just an acrylic paint, any paint will do. And then it's on to spray painting it with some chrome paint. Give it that nice metallic look. Now we flip it over. It's time to strap it on. So mark where you want to stick your handles and cover the area in a decent amount. And I say decent amount of glue. And reinforce it with some duct tape or gaffer tape, making sure it stays on. Now, the final part, flip it around on the other side, grab your Stark direwolf image and stick it down where you've put your silhouette. And what you need to do now is trace over the beast's head, remembering to press down firmly so you can leave a really decent impression. Now grab your black pen or marker and trace over the area, revealing an awesome direwolf head. Screaming for victory and rivet. You can also add some rivets on the outside. And then it's time to dance for joy because you've got a direwolf shield and that's awesome. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you've got something you'd like me to make for you. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. See ya.